Matthew's Message, July 19, 2015 Greek Vote on Referendum, Iran's Nuclear Program Agreement, Illuminati Strength, Insects, Rats, Monatomic Gold, Teen Suicides, Petitions, Depression, Planetary Cleansing, Trans-Pacific Partnership. With loving greetings from all souls at the station, this is Matthew. Many of your analysts think that the Greek people's resounding no on the recent referendum put their country on the road to irreversible economic ruin. The country will manage. No put the Illuminati on the road to irreversible economic ruin. Going back a long, long ways, bartering worked splendidly in communities, but the expanding borders of commerce required a different means of exchange. And with the introduction of coinage, money became the axis on which your world turned. The forerunners of the Illuminati and later that group itself controlled the turning by devising taxation, banking, and lending systems, and, as centuries passed, numbered bank accounts, stock markets, Federal Reserve System, International Monetary Fund, regulating agencies, and credit cards with usurious interest rates. Everything they established was specifically designed to add to their fortunes, tighten their economic control over the peoples, and increase their influence within national governments. The Illuminati began as a cohesive group of like-minded individuals whose objective was world domination. As time went by, egos grew and tempers flared and eventually two competitive factions with that same goal emerged. Later, the Rothschilds and their adherents, who operate out of London and the Vatican, came up with a plan to solidify their control throughout Europe, the European Union, European Central Bank, and Euro currency. Let us borrow your expression, how's that working for you? There is no bandage large enough to patch the crack the Greek vote made in the Rothschild network. The crack will spread like a spider web around the world, and into it will fall the Rockefeller faction headquartered in Washington, D.C., and on Wall Street. As if that isn't enough for both factions to deal with, and Pope Francis' goodness and wisdom keeps upsetting their apple cart, now there's the agreement between negotiators from several major nations and Iran's leaders that their country will not pursue development of a nuclear weapon. It is no surprise that Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu, a top-ranking Illuminati, denounced the agreement, or that Illuminati in the United States Congress and members whose election campaigns were funded by that group are opposing President Obama's efforts to get congressional approval. They want to invade Iran and, along with taking over that country's oil, reap the riches that come from producing the machinery of war. The vibrations of intensifying light that led to those reversals for the Illuminati will keep increasing as the planet continues on its ascension course. If we could tell you when their total undoing will be, we would do so joyously, but activity in Earth's energy field of potential indicates that their inevitable demise will come in stages, not one fell swoop. They still have some power, dwindling though it is, in their black ops branch of the CIA. Other intelligence sources, including Mossad, high-ranking personnel in some military forces, leverage within mainstream media and some governments, and huge caches of monies to initiate or exacerbate uprisings, fund the Islam State, and pay their minions to hack computer systems, oversee the street drug trade, fill your skies with chemtrails, deny pollution's contribution to climate change, or disseminate false information on the Internet. While a few within the higher ranks of both Illuminati factions are talking with principles in reform movements, the hardliners are talking about joining forces. Some have abandoned their fast-sinking ship, died of natural causes, or by their own hand, or been arrested. You would recognize some names, most you would not, and it is unlikely that any of the Illuminati will be identified as such in mainstream news reports. Upheavals will keep popping up as the ages old light versus dark battle for Earth's civilization at last is nearing its end. You have waited a long time to see the light triumph as predestined, and you can welcome the bumpy ride through the last phases. However, most of the populace don't know about that long conflict or that everything transpiring and what is ahead is about planetary and personal ascension out of millennia of dark bondage. Many people are fearful or angry. And with each new bump, 
others will have the same reactions. Your calmness, yet excitement, and explaining to the extent individuals are receptive, can encourage them to have an optimistic outlook. But please do not be disheartened if family and friends don't respond positively, they will awaken in their own times of readiness. And, we ask that you keep foremost in your thoughts that every person in your world is a part of God, by whatever name the Supreme Being in this universe is called. Every person is inextricably connected at soul level with all others, and God's love for each and every one is unconditional. Seeing offenders through God's eyes doesn't mean wanting them to forego justice by your world standards. Already this has come to some, and shall befall others. What it does mean is, you will uplift yourselves and your world by envisioning those individuals within the light rather than focusing on their punishment. The impartial, non-judgmental, and unavoidable laws of the universe will serve them justice in a spirit world according to their lifetime deeds. This is an appropriate place to answer a reader's questions. What will happen to Nirvana after Earth reaches fifth density? Can there still be reunions with our loved ones? Nirvana will accompany Earth to her destination in fifth density and continue to be her spirit realm, but with grand differences. The tiny dense orb that houses the basis individuals and is the only part of the realm separate from the rest will be transported to some third density civilization and incorporated into their spirit world, or it will be dematerialized after its inhabitants are moved to a spirit world of equal density. Nirvana's lower layers, learning centers for people who want to outgrow their negative tendencies such as bigotry, anger, apathy, envy, miserliness, bitterness, disloyalty, dishonesty, manipulativeness, closed minds, and desire to control others, also will disappear. Those traits served well when they were aspects of karmic lessons souls chose to attain balanced experiences, but your society will have advanced consciously and spiritually and no longer need to experience negative characteristics. Indeed, reunions of loved ones can take place in Nirvana when that realm and earth are in fifth density, but then just as now, Meetings can be in any placement in this universe where energies are compatible. Actually, these visits have been happening all along during your sleep time, but your body's density can't retain memories of those visits. When you waken and have fragments of memories of being with a loved one, you attribute them to dreams. As your consciousness expands with light absorption, you will start to clearly remember your joyful reunions. With reference to our stating that everything in your world is purposeful, a reader asked, what purpose is served by rats, roaches, fleas, mosquitoes, etc. It started eons past in linear time, when the darkness manipulated the DNA of some weaker civilizations and programmed their bodies for aging and disease. A civilization at third density conscious and spiritual level, which Earth's peoples and other life forms have been for many millennia has bodies that are susceptible to the diseases that some insects and rats can cause or spread, and, given the flexibility in so contracts, physical death by that means can satisfy contracts cause and longevity provisions. Insects also serve the purpose of souls whose lifetime energy consigned them to the basest part of third density spirit realms. When they are willing to receive sufficient light to embody, they do so in a short-lived form without cellular memory patterning that could influence behavior as they start back up the ladder of evolution. You will welcome knowing that insects cannot survive in the higher vibratory levels where Earth is heading, and their place in the food chain no longer will be needed. Rats are intelligent, emotional rodents, and those that are well-treated pets respond in kind. The hordes that run wild simply are trying to survive in a world where they are detested. As a civilization grows in consciousness, so do all other life forms in the world. With that advancement comes humankind's respect for all animal life, and wild rats, like other species now considered obnoxious, will be elevated in behavior and popular acceptance. Have no concerns that your world may be overrun with rats or rabbits or any other animals that produce litters quickly. They will reproduce less often and in smaller numbers as long as they decide to embody on the planet. These species, like all others, evolve and at some point incarnate as higher order beings. Citing numerous ways that Earth's animals are being treated inhumanely, a reader asked, 
Can the Galactics not help with ending this horrendous treatment of animals? Your universal family is helping by beaming light and abundance to Earth, but they cannot interfere with the free will of individuals who cause suffering and merciless death to your animals. It is up to your society to stop abhorrent practices, and thanks to the dedicated efforts of many souls, this is happening. Countries are setting standards for treatment of animals and repercussions for violators. There are boycotts of food, other products and entertainment derived from animal exploitation. Poachers of wild animals are being taught other livelihoods. Education is expanding about the importance of preserving wildlife and their habitats on land and in the seas. The numbers of wildlife reserves and no-kill shelters of pet species continue growing, and so do the numbers of homeless pets who are adopted. Participating in or financially supporting these encouraging activities is vital, to be sure, but an invaluable contribution that everyone can make to improve animal life is to not agonize about their plight, but instead send love light to all of Earth. The law of attraction brings back the very same energy sent forth in thought and feelings, thus agonizing about any situation brings back still more circumstances to evoke that feeling. A reader in New Zealand asked why teen suicides in her country and elsewhere are becoming more frequent. Perhaps because of religious teachings, dying by one's own hand at such a young age, at any age, is viewed as more tragic than death by disease or fatal injury. So first we say, there is no judgment or penalty, and no such place as limbo or hell for people who end their lives. Their reasons differ just as the individuals themselves do. However, according to our colleagues in Nirvana, most teenagers who commit suicide are gay or lesbian, or they know that their body and gender are mismatched, and they enter spirit life with tormented psyches that need customized care for healing. They were emotionally drained from struggling to conform to familial expectations, societal standards, and religious orientation, or they had been cast out after declaring their true selves. Either way, they saw death as the only escape from hopelessness and despair. As your society continues growing consciously and spiritually, honoring the divinity and genuineness of all soul selves will replace discrimination and rejection. I have noticed a lot of fear-based information on the internet surrounding ingesting monatomic gold. Can you please elaborate on how it actually works within our bodies? The intention of that information, and it is a good example of disinformation on the internet, is to steer you away from one of the most valuable substances you can ingest. In addition to fortifying immune systems, monatomic gold contributes to health by rapidly regenerating cells raising body's frequencies, improving organs functioning, accelerating the transformation of carbon-based cells into crystalline, and helping to increase DNA strands. All of those physical benefits enhance brain power, and that leads to expanded consciousness, spiritual clarity, and overall balance. Individuals who are influenced by darkness don't want you to have any of those advantages, so they disseminate blatantly false, fear-based information about monatomic gold. To readers who asked if signing petitions really does any good, yes. You may or may not see prompt effects in the specific areas the petitions cover, but the energy you put forth to support endeavors you deem worthy contributes to the overall light on the planet. Please ask Matthew to speak about people suffering from depression. I am fearful I may not be following my soul contract and more so failing to do my part to promote positive loving thoughts to myself and others so as to assist Earth's transition. Our understanding and compassion go out to this dear soul and to all others who are dealing with depression, an emotionally painful condition that has become almost commonplace in your world and we hasten to say that none of you is failing self or others. You are not lacking light, but light-heartedness. Even if depression is a karmic choice for balance, it needn't be long-lasting, and discovering and alleviating the cause is possible. The cause may be physical. Consult a trusted healthcare practitioner about testing for hormonal imbalance which is treatable without pharmaceutical drugs that don't eliminate the cause and do lead to other maladies. We have mentioned the benefits of monatomic gold, and suggest as well that you eat nutritious food, drink a great deal of pure water, get sufficient sleep, listen to melodic music, 
and spend as much time as possible with nature. Especially during these times when body, mind and spirits are adjusting to ever heightening vibrations, those are wise suggestions for everyone. In many cases, depression is circumstantial, due to one's own or loved one's situation or perhaps the state of your world. When you start thinking about something sad or worrisome, change to a positive thought about that situation and visualize it dissolving into beams of light. Here again the law of attraction plays a crucial role. Take one step at a time to overcome feeling depressed. This can be as simple as the satisfaction of completing a small task or as uplifting as knowing that you are contributing light to the world via compassion, forgiveness, gratitude, generosity, and kindness. Dear ones, apply those light-filled feelings to yourself, too, and ask for help. Angels, spirit guides, souls in nirvana, and other spirit worlds, all are God's emissaries are ever ready and eager to help lift you out of depression's heavy-heartedness. Yes, planetary cleansing will continue a while longer because Earth needs to rid herself of negativity as it is produced. But we say to readers who asked about earthquakes that will devastate entire major cities, tsunamis of epic proportions, dramatic changes in land masses, and temperatures that will continue rising until they snuff out all life, not only are those concerns needless, but they emit low vibrations that add to the negativity Earth has to deal with. Many who requested our comments about the Trans-Pacific Partnership feel this is an Illuminati-made bill that will benefit only the wealthiest. Several also questioned much the same as the reader who wrote, if President Obama really is a light being, why is he pushing Congress to get this bill passed? and others wrote that his efforts prove he is either a Illuminati or their willing puppet, or is being mind-controlled by them. Indeed, TPP provisions have the potential to favor only the wealthy, whatever can be used beneficially also can be twisted into malevolent directions, and we shall tell you what we have been told about President Obama's position. He is acting upon the advice of our space family members living among you to not make waves at this stage of behind-the-scenes talks with individuals in the Rockefeller faction. They are not defectors per se, they are pragmatists who know their aim of world control is doomed, and because their interests are better served by economic stability than global collapse, they are amenable to discussing reforms that will have far-reaching effects. These individuals, whose cooperation can expedite the reforms, wield considerable influence in the corporate world, and their bargaining point is that by acting in good faith on TPP's provisions, workers in the offshore countries will reap benefits that currently are non-existent and would not adversely affect workers in the United States. Our perspective is, as vibrations continue increasing, improvements will come in every aspect of life in your world, so with or without TPP, Beneficial changes are ahead for people everywhere. We honor you, our beloved family, for your perseverance as light workers. You are adding immeasurably to the light that is propelling ongoing and forthcoming changes throughout your world. Channeled by Suzanne Ward www.matthewbooks.com